morning. Uh, I'm Brendan, and this is the Logan Garage. This morning we're going to work on this red Cherokee here, and we're also going to work on the Black Comanche. The red Cherokee has some um, instrument cluster failure problems. It's been going on for many years now, but uh, we, we uh, went on a trip the other day. Greeny and I went out to Heiner View State Park, a beautiful place, a lot of hang gliding out there. And it was about a, I don't know, a little bit over an hour drive out and then another hour and some hour drive back and we didn't have any instrument cluster the entire time. So I didn't know how much gas the Jeep had. I didn't know how fast we were going. None of that. Uh, we're not doing that again. That, uh, especially driving out in the middle of the woods there, you know, we were off-roading a little bit. You know, I don't know if the truck's getting hot, any of that. So we got to find out what's wrong with it. I suspect the bad ground. So we're going to shoot the wires. We're going to pull up a uh, wiring harness here on the computer and uh, see what we can find. Um, and then once we figure that one out, which I don't know, we might be able to get that done today. We should be able to. Uh, we're going to work on the black Comanche there and uh, fix a um, power steering return line that broke on me yesterday during lunch break when I was ironically helping my friend get a radiator at Napa for his uh, Ranger. So. We're going to take a look at both those problems today and uh, see what we can get done. Alright, we got the Jeep pulled in. We're uh, bringing up the wire and harness here. And see if we can look at the schematic. Uh, we're going to go over here to maintenance. Uh, no, we don't want maintenance. Why did it? Oh, I had... I had no problem finding this the other day. Ah, there it is at the bottom there. We got wiring diagrams. Just uh, not paying attention there. Alright. So. You think we can find... Well, there's power distribution. There we go. Ground distribution. That's what we want right there. Let's see what we got. All right. Sounds like the neighbor is trying to start his motorcycle without trying to actually fix it, and he's gonna kill it. Anyway, uh, da -da. engine starter, front wiper, headlamp, ignition switch. Switch, radio, alright, uh, did you see instrument cluster? Getting too distracted from the neighbor trying to start his motorcycle. There it is, alright, instrument cluster. Okay. Alright, let's blow this up so everyone can see this. Come on, Windows. Alright. Okay. So. Instrument cluster has two grounds. C1, C1. Number six and number one. Eighteen Z two ground one oh eight. Now this other this controls other things too. Heater control radio. See, we don't have any of those problems. We don't have any of those other problems. But, at least we could check it out and see, uh... Check those wires out. So let's do that now. Alright, I had to figure something out. 
I was having some problems here figuring this out. I'm used to not, I don't know, I'm used to different diagrams. I guess Dodge uses a different type of wiring diagram display. I, I don't know. I'm still learning, just like you can. <clears throat> so anyway, here's the instrument cluster wiring diagram. I kind of made a schematic here. Oh, I went and got some orange juice too. You should always have orange juice. Uh, instrument panel, and then we got pin one and six, I believe. Circuit C1, and this is the ground. It's coming, it was called what Z2. Anyway, um, I wanted to see what these wire color codes I knew that was black, but I didn't know what LG was. Um, and then that was going to ground point G108, like it shows here. So you can see what I was doing there. Z. And then G108. So I just did a uh, quick little Google search here to find out what those color combos mean. Which actually yielded me a Mopar wire identification. So, as you can see, the little number next to it uh, was 18. So the, the, what that means is 18 gauge wire. So, yeah. Ah, it got all blurry on me. Maybe we can zoom this in. How about that? There we go. Yeah, so that means 18 gauge wire. Uh, it's the main circuit identifier. Part of main circuit varies upon equipment and color code. Light blue, it looks like that's what, well, maybe it's light green. LG, light green. So, but you can go over here, then, and find out what it means. So, we have black, BK, yep, and LG, light green. Standard trace color, BK. Color with tracer. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so this is telling us this is a black, light green wire we're looking for. So we can just, just for, so I don't have a brain fart. Black, light. It has a really bad B in it. Wait. Let's go in the Jeep here and uh, take a look at what we got. We'll take our pen with us. Got the multimeter. We got the trouble light already in the Jeep. So, I'm probably going to have to be going back and forth here a little bit. See, we got all ripped apart already. Where's my trouble light? Oh, there it is, hanging. Which I got this in Napa, right? You think it'd be better? I swear to God, I saw the same damn one at Harbor Freight. But what happens when you don't have a snap-on track truck that lives and works in your area? All right, so we were looking for black and light green on the harness here. So I already got this ripped apart here. Let's see. Let me get my uh, my other flashlight. So we get a little bit better view. How about I dig around over this wire and then, uh, yeah, let me look for this. All right, we found it. So, the black and green one, let me get the camera in here pretty tight. Can you see it? Yeah, light's too bright. Grimy. Nothing ever works right. It's this one, the top one, and the bottom. 
are the uh can we turn this down? I got one of these lights you can adjust the beam on there. Yeah, it's still okay. Come on, focus. But anyway, that's where they are. Uh didn't see any on this side and there's two of them, so that makes perfect sense. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to pin these out and see if we get a ground. All right, so I've been, uh, I didn't have any pins, so I just had to use some safety wire, uh, shove it in the, in the pin there, and uh, use a green jumper wire here to just uh, connect it there. And I jiggled it a little bit, but uh, getting a ground on that one, I know this isn't right, but it works. And we got a ground there. So, this is very intermittent, like I said. It's hard to make it fail. But I'd like to trace these, these green wires back and see where they go um, as a ground. We've got to find out where this G108 is. I don't know where this G108 goes. So, let's have to go over here and look at the computer, find out, turn the multimeter off. Just trying to figure it out here. and never used a Chilson's manual online before, so it's a little, little confusing, but uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, so we're waiting on a website to load to tell us where this ground is. Um, <laughs> Stupid computer. So while I was doing that, we're gonna check the power distribution, and um, it comes down to just two wires for the whole cluster, uh, pin eight and nine. Uh, one is white and black, and the other one is pink. So we found them both. They're both in line. Same on the still on this left connector here. You can see the pink one right here, white and black one right there. So we're just gonna check for our voltage here and uh, see what we can get see if I can hold the camera still here for you we're gonna use the uh, trouble light here just connect the pin here to the trouble light and take this to ground Ground inside the instrument cluster there. Alright. Turn the key on. Alright, let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Put the light there. So, that light there, that light there. Kind of hard for us to see everything there, but. Uh, Hmm. Oh yeah, it fell off the connector. Don't mind me. All right. Okay, we got power. Let's see, get this light off here. It's too bright, I guess. Making it a little hard for us to see everything. All right, so like I said, we got power there, and we should have should have power next to it as well. Okay. All right, and we do. So let's jiggle it a little. No. Pin. There we go. Nothing on the power side. Ay ay ay. Let's arrange my cluster. Let's take it 
take a look at the pins on the back of this thing. So that'd be this side. Yep. Pins look good. I don't see any arcing or anything like that. And we might just have a pin problem. We might just have to go in here and uh, see if we can bend some of these pins around. That might be a source of our problem because we got good grounds and we've got good power supplies. Now, I don't know if it's in a condition now where it doesn't work. I guess we could check real quick by just plugging the darn thing in, right? Why don't we try that? Move our stuff out of the way here. <clears throat> oh. Drop their safety wire. All right. <clears throat> See if this will work. Right there. Alright. Okay, so that gives us that. And it gave us power, but it didn't give us anything else. Should get battery voltage here. So we're all the way in. I'm not seeing anything. We should have battery voltage. Well, this gauge moved a little bit. Let's do a gauge check. So you know how you do that? I'll show you here. All right, so let's check the gauges. stuff. Can't get the camera to amateur hour here. Alright, there. Hold the reset in. Cycle it three times. One, two, three. All right, so that didn't give us... Hmm. Let's see if the thing starts. Ah, we don't have gauges. We do not have gauges, but the check worked. All right? I don't know why. I mean, that definitely is telling me we got a bad pin. like it's a computer problem because so we got power we got a gauge check hmm. that's all good why is this thing deciding to just keep beeping i think it has the, has the headlight switches out aye, aye, aye. let's go back to the wiring diagram so it seems we found the location of the ground finally. G108 is down under the dash here somewhere. Uh, probably buried and hard to get to. So I am suspect that it's not bad because we've, we have other parts of the vehicle that work right now. And uh, we have power, we have the test function. Um, so we might have a sending problem with the gauge itself. I, we gotta 
we gotta look at that more, but we might as well check this ground while we're down here. Seems like it's a ground for multiple things, so it should be kind of easy to find. I'll uh, show everyone once I find it. Just the clutch pedal's in the way. That bulb's hot. Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. There's a lot of wires. I found it. pretty darn good. Let's uh, open it out there. I don't know if you folks will be able to see it, but let's uh, take the camera off here. And see if I can get in here and show you where it is. Of course, it's extremely hard to get to because Jeeps are very compact. I almost had it, now I lost it. There we go. There, see it? That stud, and now the camera won't focus, of course. There. So, check the round on that puppy. Don't touch that light bulb, it's hot. Alright, back to checking this ground. See what we get, check our meter, make sure we got the connection here. Good to go. the worst ground ever in the history of grounds. That's a big piece of aluminum in there, isn't it? Alright, so let's find ourselves a ground. There's a lot of places up here. Ugh. Yep, we got a ground. No problem, man. Oh wait, let me check the wire. I didn't check the wire. Just gently hit the stud. Man, there's no room. This thing is ridiculous. Yep, that's good. Alright, so our grounds are all good. Because they all go to that one. Ow. So, we don't have a ground problem. We don't have a ground problem. We don't have a power problem. Uh, so we must have a, an indication problem. Let's take a look. All right, so we found the wiring harness. 
uh, wiring diagram for the speedometer. Uh, or no, we're going off the fuel gauge. I mean, you can click on any of them. Um, so shows a tying into the bus unit uh, in the speedo, and we already determined the speedometer is fine. We did the the test. So we're looking for one and two. 20 gauge D, which means D is diagnostic circuits, communications, and antennas. I didn't know it realized there was much noise during the day. Jeez. So. Oh, where'd that go? Alright. So, D1, D2. One and two. Pin one and pin two. Of course, it doesn't tell us anything about what kind of power should be on from that. It's the Chilson's manual sucks! Alright, so we're looking at violet and brown. Yeah. So, 20 gauge wire, violet, brown, and white wire. black pin one and two one and two all right let's see what we got in the Jeep here so this is what gives you the signal two clusters. I believe one was the negative and one was the positive. Or I, don't know. I don't know. The wiring harness is just crud. Pin in one and two. Go look with our light. Oh, where did I put my light? Did I put my light here? There it is. Alright. Let's put the camera right here. There's just no room for both of us in there at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting no power. 
either of those. Hmm. So, I gotta trace that back more. Alright, so I guess we gotta check these pins together. <clears throat> that should give us a ground. That's our power. I really need a pin a pin tester. Mm. How about we just use the multi? See, those two wires are dead, which is our problem. Alright, so apparently the CCD stands for Chrysler Crash Detection, which is the pins I was checking. I wasn't getting voltage on. Um, from what I read so far, that the, the voltage drop on those we should get about 2.5 volts, um, but that's only when the, the instrument uh, cluster is connected. I, I don't even know how I'm going to get in there to do that. So, we already checked the one fuse up here in the um, powertrain control module. Uh, was, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I see the I O D and uh, that was this one right here you can see that's connected to a couple things here a light there uh, that one was good so the only one we got left to check here is in the passenger side junction box which has a whole bunch more fuses in it. Make some room and uh, see what we got. Oh, I like going when you got the tool still, right? Let's take a look and see what fuse number that was. Alright, so we're looking for fuse 9, 10 amps. Uh, let's see what we got here. There it is. Sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. Well, after checking everything, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, try, there's a technical service bulletin on the pins, 
on the instrument cluster. So we're going to go in and clean all the pins, make sure they're good, put some dielectric grease on them, um, examine the pins again on the connectors, and go from there. Oh boy. Alright, so we're back to the technical service bulletin we got for this thing from Jeep, which tells you to clean these connectors if you see any arcing. I didn't see any arcing. Um, so we're just going to look at them real quick. I, I didn't see anything. I did not see anything. So I'll just go through and... Just clean them off a little bit. And we'll uh, put some dielectric grease in there. Just lather it up. No, not that much. Just tap, tap, tap. All right. Now we'll go in the Jeep clean our connectors in there. Uh, let's see here. Alright. Take every one of these pins, I'm going to go through it, make sure they're good, check the connections. Um, Maybe try to bend the pins or the connectors in if, they, if they've moved out on me. But that's what we're going to do and we're going to give that a try and throw it back together. Alright, so we're uh, throwing this thing back together because everything that we did, all the troubleshooting that I could do, I don't have any way to read ABS codes, which I guess is the way that the uh, CC... The Chrysler crash detection system gives codes out, so we don't have any way to troubleshoot that. Um, but everything else will be troubleshot, and it won't come back good. So even the pins were good. Why this thing really lives? What a crummy design. I mean, this, this, this connectors here are just the worst. The way they just float around in there. I don't, I don't know what a good solution for that would be. Um, I'm probably going to say super glue. Probably super glue that sucker there. See if that helps. It'd be good to plastic weld it. Um, yeah, it's definitely a source of some problems. I should definitely see I don't know why it wants it to float in there that much let's uh, let's get a little dab of super glue get some uh, jet set and some jet Super glue, thin, only way to buy it. Do a little uh, 19 year old vehicle fix here. Ooh, not too much. So that will definitely set this up quickly.
Oh, that did not work. Oh, wait. There we go. Damn. I don't want that much. Alright. That's pretty solid on there. Good. Here, this one I made up. Did that a little bit off. But I I think we'll be alright. It'll go in. Better. Uh guess that's our next piece is putting the instrument cluster in. Voltage, we got gas, all that good stuff. So it's better. Let's make sure it's seated before we drive it home here. I hate super glue bottles because the only ones that do it right are Gorilla Glue. They put a little pin in the end of it so it'll keep the hole clear but no the best super glue doesn't get the good pins so I'll just stick a needle in there later all right put this back on That's on. I think the next piece is probably going to be the top here. I think. Yeah. What's this little rubber thing here is a bitch. Always had. It. Ironically enough, the old Jeeps were easier. Pre OBD2 ones. Ah, don't snap that in yet. Oh Turn on the stinking headlight switch. Barely fits. Jackass design on it. I'm gonna get this rubber thing around it. I guess this is like a knee guard or something, or an accident. I don't know if I'd want my legs hitting a big piece of metal though. That's 
That's a pretty heavy gauge steel there. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's right. That's the big one. That's on. And this. Check it again. Probably won't work this time, though, in my luck. Nah, it works. Yeah, I think it is really a connection issue. Because when you saw us, we had it off. We had it on there and uh, tried it and it didn't work. Well, once I reseated everything pretty hard and tried it that time. With super glue, works no problem. All right, so I guess that's the end of uh, Jeep number one. We'll say that's fixed, but yeah, we'll see. We'll do an update on that one, see if it actually does stay fixed. I'm going to say no, but we'll see.